have been advised that Molly's might eat black beard algae. Since I have been trying unsuccessfully to get true Siamese algae eaters for some time now, they don't appear to be often available in local pet stores. Well, I say local. They're never available at my local pet store. I have to go 25 miles away to the closest pet store that even carries them on occasion. I have had them on special order for over a month at one pet store and so far no success. I located them online. The cheapest I could do would be ten dollars a piece. Uh, actually I've ordered another UV sterilizer to put on top the second of two planted ten gallon tanks that I have and I hope that that will eradicate the spores and prevent the black beard algae from propagating but if I get true Siamese algae eaters I'd like to put them in my planted 75 gallon tank to deal with black beard algae there unless of course mollies are adept at eating the stuff they may not eat it at all but I like mollies and uh, I did a bit of research online uh, trying to find out how much salt to add to the water. I've always heard that mollies need salt. It appears to be the uh, the consensus that mollies don't actually need salt at all. It's not the salinity of the water that is good for them. It is the hardness of the water. Well, that's no problem at all. Our Ohio River water is super hard. So hopefully these mollies will do well here. They're still a bit skittish. Uh, having just entered this quarantine tank this morning. Uh, oh, well, they're not real excited about Daphnia. Of course, they are probably quite full as I put uh, sinking algae wafers in the glass jar earlier. And I see that they are both eliminating at the moment so I think they are quite full I am of course as a preventative measure uh, using Riddick which is just methylene blue brand name methylene blue should be able to get that stuff cheaper online but went ahead and got it at the local pet store which by the way is ridiculously high priced because it is the only pet store in town and to get to the next pet store you have to go 25 miles away. I have not seen the one remaining common female guppy uh, today. I'm gonna have to look closely in this quarantine tank and find the corpse, get that out of there. I debated whether or not to put her out of her misery because I was quite sure she would not recover from whatever was bothering her since she's acting terrified for no reason. So this is where I am with my quarantine tank at the moment. Hopefully whatever ailed the common guppy will not be communicable to these black mollies but uh, well, they came from the pet, same pet store uh, not not on the same system per se or at least I do not believe they were in the same system as the common guppies but I'm doing the best I can to quarantine fish and balance that against availability of stock, um, how quickly I believe my stock are going to expire and whether or not I'll have a chance to mate them. So it is a continuing struggle to come up with some live bearers and something to deal with black beard algae.